great thing about Legos is that all you need is imagination. Because you can be like really creative. So you play with them all the time. Building buildings, building rocket ships, anything and everything. Anything your imagination leads you to believe you could do, you build it. Years later, it's the same thing. You're, you build ships, you build planes, you build flowers, you build pyramids. You build the same exact thing. It doesn't change. One thing that doesn't change. And that's nice. These are the kind of toys that keep the imagination alive. It's really important. It's really important. Imagination has always been an important part of our values. Imagination and creativity. Kill is the third generation owner and, and leader of the Lego Group. The company was founded in 1932 by Ole Kirk Christiansen, Kjell's grandfather who was actually a carpenter and uh, during the depression decided to produce wooden toys. Kell really grew up with, with the Lego company of course. He was born six years ago so the company was still in its infancy when, when uh, Kell was born and he really grew up with the Lego brick and, and I think has shaped the development of the Lego brick ever since he was a child. He was, he was born into his role. I think he just had a complete adaptation to the idea. It was something that struck him as, as extremely inspiring as a lot of other kids but Kill was lucky to be one of those kids who were completely absorbed by Lego. And uh, so in that sense, you can say he really grew into the job, was born for the job. For me, it has been quite natural, <laughs> I would say. I have never, I have, I have always enjoyed tremendously working with the product. I have really played with the product as far back as I can remember. Kell took actual management of the overall Lego group in 1978 and then took it to the next stage by bringing life and characters and expanding the universe into preschool products and, and products for young adults. Hey! And uh, one of his major uh, first efforts there was to really develop themed play of Lego, so Lego Space, Lego Pirates, Lego Castle and so on, which has become the core of the Lego proposition today even uh, now to this day, uh, 30 years later. Kell then expanded the universe in the 19, late 1990s by bringing in stories such as Star Wars was brought to life within a Lego universe and, and uh, we feel it's almost like Lego and Star Wars has become something very unique. With a new Lego Star Wars collection. The Lego relationship has been fundamentally important to, to, to Lucasfilm. It's created a whole new play pattern for uh, Star Wars. Kel made the decision to enter the world of licensing with the Star Wars license in 1998. He had the, the, the foresight and the, the strength of, of will to make the decision, and that was something that fundamentally changed the, the direction for LEGO, and, and I do think that that will be something long re remembered. Mindstorms as a product uh, was really a materialization of a focus that Kill had had for some 10-15 years. It started out as a very abstract project. It was a project that Kill followed uh, almost daily until it finally materialized and there were very strong uh, fingerprints of Kill on the Mindstorms product which has now been on the market uh, 10 years and it continues to grow in sales and now is out in its third generation. When children surf the internet they can communicate globally, search for information, and learn as they travel in cyberspace. But when children play games or build their own creations in the physical world, they actively challenge both the laws of nature and their own intellectual and physical limits. From the first time I met Kel, he made it brutally clear to me that he did not consider Lego a toy. He considered it a learning tool, a way to give kids a sense of what's possible and a passion for being creative. Kell very early uh, came up with the notion that children are our role models in the legal group and I think what he believed in was that children have this wonderful natural curiosity and ability to learn even without realizing they're learning, they're just learning all the time so they're very open-minded and I think Kell saw that that was something wonderful, something to be admired so I think he was really ahead of his time. I've known Kell for at least a decade now we met in the context of a common mission, convincing more young kids that science and technology and inventing and being creative is fun. FIRST was an organization we put together. It had been going for a few years, doubling and redoubling, being very successful every year. But the kids we were getting were high school kids that were being mentored by engineers. And we didn't have the capacity to jump down from these very sophisticated robots to little kids. Instantly, we realized that using 
the Lego brick and the Lego tools and the Lego kits, we could make the Little League or the first Lego League of our robotics competition and make it accessible to a much larger group of people at a much younger age. And that was the big win. It's an enormously exciting program to see kids from all over the world get together at our finals last year at the Georgia Dome, represented by 38 countries. And the remarkable similarity among kids all over the world, if given the opportunity to interact with each other and get some positive reinforcement. Lego League is such a magical experience, and I think it's part of Kel's vision, and it's a perfect partnership with FIRST, and we hope it goes until every kid in this planet has an opportunity to participate. All you have to do is interact with Kel and kids, and you know he was born to do this job. He's got a passion for the kids. He's got a passion for his product. I think Kel uh, embodies a great sense of the tradition of Lego and staying true to that tradition, but also understanding that the world is changing. Kel's grandfather and father would be amazed what uh, the Lego brand has turned into, and uh, I think they would be extremely pleased with the achievements. Kel has done a tremendous job and done something that only he could do, something that his grandfather and father would never have done. So it can really take us very far because it takes us as far as children's imagination goes, and that goes very far.